deaf and I, I didn't like the small print. And so uh, I realized I was going to be indentured for them, with them for several um, artistic developments that came after the deck. And I thought, well, if I don't like the journey with them, I'm, I can't get out of jail. I've got no get out of jail card free kind of thing. So, again, self-publishing is not the direction for everybody. And I explained to people, unless you're going to uh, get out there and market it and uh, promote it yourself, don't expect others to do it for you. And, you know, it's a cold hard world, there's thousands of decks out there and a lot of established artists and uh, writers, you know, it's like everybody that writes a book, you know, don't expect to become the next overnight Stephen King, you know, it takes, uh, you know, somebody picking up your book, reading it and sharing it and all of those kinds of things, so. Well, it's hard, you know, just like me, you know, I mean, I've been out of broadcasting uh, for almost 40 years when I decided to get back into it. My wife said, get, go into it if that's what you want. You know, and, you know, you got your insecurity. Right. It's hard. It's a hard road, to, you know, to get back into something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, another question I have is somebody's uh, is right now texting me asking, uh, do you uh, offer uh, instruction classes or anything like that? I actually, for, I created an online course for vibrational energy therapy. I do, I do courses and things like that, but usually I do them live because I'm one of those people that it's great to have an online course and I have been suggested by many people just get with the program and do it. But I like to be able to do it so that people can actually uh, be there and be present because I think it's a, a lot more than just you know, flick on the uh, switch on the computer and uh, tune in kind of thing. And this kind of work anyway, you know, uh, I think it was John Edwards and a couple of other people who said that, you know, people assume that they can do this and then, um, you know, become the next uh, Doreen Virtue or John Edwards on uh, TV. And it, it's a lot of work. But yes, I do offer uh, training classes when I'm on tour, usually around Canada. Uh, but I always say to people that, uh, when they buy my decks and so forth, it's so easy to read your cards. It, you know, there's lots of different things. I also do a weekly um, reading and insights on YouTube, which uh, I share with people, and uh, I'm on all the different social medias, so people can connect with me that way and learn a bit more about this kind of work. And uh, maybe I'm shooting myself in the foot here, but <laughs> I suppose I give a lot away for free, but... Yes. <laughs> now, I just had somebody, uh, Ted, out of uh, Nebraska, yeah. just uh, asked, can you tell, um, uh, if see, if we would have been on Skype, we could have been taking calls. That's my fault. Uh, it, can yeah. you, can, when you run across somebody else that uh, says they can, you know, talk to spirits and stuff like that, have you ever run across any, what he's saying, phonies, that you knew they were phony right, right from talking to them right from the start? Um, I have, and it's very hard because, you know, I try and get make people in total awareness that when they go and see a reader, a clairvoyant, a psychic, whatever you like to call it, card reader, is if somebody's asking you lots of questions, back away really quickly. I don't ask questions like Kevin, I just asked a yes or no, and that was it. But if people are continually asking, you know, questions, and they're doing a reading for you, then you've got to ask yourself why they need that information. They should be getting that. Well, there used to be a guy. Now, sometimes I'm, there used to be a guy. Uh, there used to be a guy on TV uh, had a show for a while, and uh, you right. know, it seemed like when I was watching it because I was really into it, it seemed like in a roundabout way he was asking people. The, uh, the answers along with the question by this, how he would word things. Yeah. And he, and, and he yeah. actually had an, uh, a national syndicated show and, you know, it oh didn't God. last very long because, you know, he was, what am I doing? What I am mean, I doing this wrong? Yeah, yeah. You shouldn't have to, you, you know, know, you, you, you don't, he was basically telling the people what they wanted to hear, but he was in a roundabout way. People can be asked yeah. questions and not realize they're being asked questions. So, you Absolutely. know, he would say that, that, so you're, I, I, I see your uh, ex uh, or your dead uh, uh, grandmother or whatever. But then he would kind of, you know, ask a question about it, and Then he'd come back and then it was a roundabout question where somebody was going to say, yeah, yeah. Because, you know, it, it was a general, yeah. you know, answer. Well, well, yeah, 
yes, and I, you know, I do uh, clairvoyant evenings or clairvoyant gatherings, whatever you like to call them, where uh, people will come along, and I try to go to the person. Now, I've not had the glory yet of having several thousand people in a huge theater, uh, but I've had a, just under 100 people, and for me, that was, you know, I'm trying to go across to where the person is, and I might just say, I need the lady with the yellow top or something like that, but I have been to uh, see uh, clairvoyant gatherings where the, the person is standing at the front and say, I have somebody here in spirit, uh, his name's John. Well, I don't know about you, but in a gathering of 100 people, there's going to be somebody there that has a John that's in spirit. Oh, yeah, yeah. But sadly, this lady, there was nobody in that crowd that had a John. And then she went on and she said, well, I've got a, I've got a brown dog here. I've got a brown dog in spirit. And nobody could take the brown dog. And I felt so sorry for her in one way. But in another way, I'm going... Okay, we all have bad days, we all have off days, and you know, sometimes I can't say that I'm 100% on with a, a reading for somebody, but I'd like to hope that I'm at least 90% there, and if not, if, if I'm not getting something for somebody, I'm, I say to them, you're not paying for this, okay, this is, this is my off day, this is not yours. Thankfully, it's, it's not happened, it's only happened, I think, twice in my years of doing this, but I have had situations where I've gone to somebody in... Uh, an event and I've got a, somebody in spirit so I start to, and then I get two people that can take this person and they're sitting close together so sometimes it's a case of I have to go through a you know a process to find out which person I'm with and uh, you know that can sometimes take a bit of time and it's almost like I wish the person would just say hey my name is Nelly I'm with so and so and this is the person but as I said it's like the me with my swimsuit of trying to explain that when I don't know what the word in Spanish is for swimsuit. I'm trying to do these theatrics of, um, you know, showing what a swimsuit would look like in some kind of whose line is it anyway, you know, trying to act it out. So that's sometimes what happens because, you know, I think John Edwards explained it that, you know, spirits at one level and the medium or the clairvoyant or the psychics at another and they have to find like a a point that they can connect in that vibration to uh, get the message across. And sometimes I can have all metaphors and symbols and not a single name or, or word. And then, you know, I could have something like we just had a couple of minutes ago where, you know, it's quite clear and I can see the person and everything that's going on. You know, sometimes I'll get uh, a sense or a feeling of how somebody passed, uh, you know, that kind of thing. And, uh, that's the way that they're trying to communicate because they're trying to utilize me to get that message across. But yeah, it can be, uh, I always say to people, if you're going somewhere and the person's asking you lots of questions, say thank you very much and leave the table or leave the room or whatever it is, because they, you know, there are people that do feed and uh, that's something that, you know, for me, I feel phony. Now, whether it is or not, it's not for me to judge. But yes, if people are, if somebody's a clairvoyant or uh, somebody's asking lots of questions of you, you've got to ask yourself why. Yeah. If they're asking for clarification, that's different. You know, but, you know, it, it, it's hard. Uh, you know, for me, I have seen some phony people and I just smile and walk away if that's the, the correct thing to do. Yeah. It's not for me to judge and you know, um, diss somebody else kind of thing. Yeah, I had uh, somebody in the same profession as you on a few nights ago. And I asked her, I said, have you ever had anybody come to you and want to know where their spouse or their their, their father or grandfather hid money or, you know, or where they they put oh, their... Oh, yeah. and, and she goes, yeah. And you know what I tell them right off the bat? Yeah. I, I, I'm not going to help you. Uh, I mean, have you ever yeah. had anybody like that happen? Anything like that happen to you or somebody? Well, I've had, yeah, I've had that kind of thing where somebody, um, there was a second will, and this was a few years ago, and the person was trying to explain where this was. And 
all I kept on saying to the person is it's within like a briefcase or that kind of thing within a box that's buried under other papers that you've already gone through. And she, she said, well, you know, we'll go back through it anyway. Sometimes I don't hear back from people, so I leave it. But this particular one, she came back and she said, yes, we found it, but we didn't like what we found in it. Oh, wow. So I think. So I think they, uh, you know, I'm going, it's not for me to judge, but it wasn't what they were hoping for. Well, so I've... it was a second will, but it was an earlier will. So it wasn't a, you know, one, but it was it was so funny because she came back and, you know, and I'm like, well, you know, that's, that's as much as I can do. Well, but, you know, I conclude with, with things if people want, if spirit want you to know where something is, and somebody's coming to me and they're asking that. If they're telling me, I'll, I'll pass it on. And if they're not, then there's a reason for it. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I wonder with uh, some people what their integrity is. Well, that's what she was... That's what she was saying. And in this case, what she was basically saying, she, the person didn't even care about the relative at all. All the, they, Basically, she was saying they were greedy and just wanted to get their hands on yeah. the money they knew they had. And it was hid in a house yeah, somewhere. Yeah. And yeah. she said that the spirit uh, basically told her not to, you know, you know, and she didn't want to have nothing to do with the guy after that because it, he didn't care about yeah. the deceased or the spirit. He just cared about the money. Say, you know, it's- it's down to spirit. If they're not communicating that, there's nothing I can do to tell them that they have to do it. Like, why would they? And as you say, if it's money grabbing and the spirit knows that, and they're going, you're not getting it. <laughs> so hey. I suppose it's their payback, if you like. Hey, just a quick question. Um, where can I uh, find your website? Do you have a website I can find you? Yes, I do. It's, that way I can add your I link. Like- yeah, website. you can. It's vibrational-energy.com. So vibrational-energy.com. Okay, we'll get you up on our website here tonight. Uh, that yeah. way, you know, that and way. If, you know, anybody that's interested in any of my decks, actually, there's a free download. You can download the deck. For, I think it's free for so many days or something. And uh, if you just hit my website, go down and hit either the Apple Play or the Google or whatever, it'll take you to my developer's site, which is indigos.com. And there's lots of different uh, decks on there, including mine. So mine's Vibrational Energy and Vibrational Earth Children, and you can find both of those on there, one's for children, one's for adults, or one's for um, inner child work, depending upon what kind of stuff you do. So, uh, Yeah. Yeah, he just brought your web and up. You That's really nice. About me. Sorry? I, I just said he just brought your web up, and it's it's really nice. I didn't even realize yeah, a lot is. of that stuff. Oh, yeah, those cards are really nice. Um, yeah, I've been very blessed. Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, the time is virtually gone. I just want to say, Debbie, I really oh, enjoyed having you on the show. I'm sorry I, I, I had a, a lot of questions, but, you know, that's the whole point of the show. Is I love it. And, you know, maybe uh, if you would like to come back on the show again sometime, I'd love to have you on. And, you know, I just... I'd love to. And if anybody has, uh, next time maybe when I come on the show, I can maybe do some readings for people. That, that... People can phone in and we can see if we can do that. Well, I was going to actually do that tonight. So, but, you know, again, with <laughs> my Skype, I have a little bit of echo with my Skype, which we've been trying to get out. Yeah. And with the echo you had, it just... It just wouldn't have worked. I know. Well, when I get back at the end of April, I'll be in my domain again, and I'll have everything there that cuts out a lot of the echoes, so we can maybe do a check it out beforehand and see if it works, and then go ahead and plan something. Okay, Debbie. Hey, I want to thank you. Uh, The weekend's coming up. Uh, you have a great weekend. I'm glad you had a husband or have a husband that's very supportive. A lot of times uh, the other person I had on the other day was telling me that uh, her other wasn't uh, supportive to actually, it took something where he saw it physically and then he was supportive. Yeah. It's nice to have a spouse that, yeah. you know, believes in what you do. Absolutely. And it's even if you don't have a spouse, if you have people around you that are supportive of what you do, whether it's, you know, this kind of work or any kind of work, I think it it just uh, helps us to grow. It sure does. Hey, Debbie, you have a great weekend coming up, will you? 